Hi everyone! It is Rizo's face, Hizzle's face, whatever you know me as. And I am here with a little Q&A video for you guys. I asked you all over on my Instagram if you guys had any questions for me that you wanted me to answer and I picked 15 really awesome questions that I'm going to be answering today for you all. I love, love, love doing Q&As so if you would like to participate in a future Q&A be sure to follow both of my regression Instagrams, my main and my spam, at Riley's Little Space and Crayons and Pencils. And I post different content on each account so you'll get more Riley content. But sometimes I do a Q&A on my main, sometimes I do a Q&A on my side. So be sure you're following both. And it's spoopy season so I decided I was going to get a little spoopy in my ghosties onesie and passy clip. So without further ado, Let's get into the questions. What is your favorite regression toy that's not a stuffy? This is a super, super duper hard question for me to answer because I love my toys so much. But I think some of my favorite regression items in general are like my little blocks. Like these are stacky blocks. And then I have these. And then I have these blocks that you have to put the shapes into the little container and I love them. And I also have like wood blocks that you can just stack up and build stuff with. And then I also have like big Crayola brand Duplo ones and those are super fun. So I would definitely have to say blocks. When did you first start regressing? I have been regressing for as long as I can remember. But I didn't know there was a term for it or like a community or anything for it until I was 15. So once I was 15, I was kind of introduced to the age regression community and was like, oh, that's what I'm doing. That's me. That makes a lot of sense. So I probably first started regressing when I was around 9 or 10 years old. I always had an interest in like kitty toys and pacifiers, but I didn't know that I was regressing and that there was a name for it until I was 15. If you could put any print on a diaper, what would it look like? I really want like a primary color diaper, but like not with any other theme other than like primary colors, but like I don't know, like I think it would just be super cute if you had like a red diaper where it, on the front it goes down and it's like the front and back is red but then one of the wings is blue and then one of the wings is yellow. I just think that would look super cool. I love primary color, color blocked anything and I definitely think that that is what I would put on the diaper if I could. What do you wish that you could tell the world about regressing? I honestly think I just wish that I could get it through people's heads that regression and kink are two very separate and different things and it's like while they may look similar from the outside they are completely separate and different and you shouldn't associate them together at all and then I also want to get it out there that like it's a totally valid coping mechanism to have like a lot of people have lost childhoods or childhoods where they had to grow up super fast and being able to regress back to that headspace and relive your childhood almost is really awesome and it's a healthy coping mechanism Every therapist that I've ever had has supported my regression wholeheartedly, both in and outside of therapy. Do you regress differently when you're sad? I would definitely say that I do. Part of the reason I regress is due to trauma and that trauma is actually tied to my regression. So sometimes when I regress it's not the most happy child-like mindset like it usually is. There are times where it's just sad and I'm regressed and I have a passing in my mouth and I'm sobbing and I'm cuddling a stuffy and another one of the things that I do pretty regularly and it's just the thing that helps me cope is make vent art. So whether that's scribbling with crayons on a piece of paper, writing statements down on paper and decorating it with stickers or coloring over it, that's something that I really only do when I'm sad or upset or triggered when I'm regressed. So I definitely would say that my regression from when I'm happy and in a good mood to my regression when I'm sad and down is very different. Out of all Muppet characters, who's your favorite? My favorite, hands down, since I was a bio kid, has been Animal. I think he's just so fun and crazy and I love Animal in all of the movies. Like, they're so fun. And Animal in Muppets Babies too, both the old and the new, are a plus. What made you want to start an Adri channel? I noticed a severe lack of age regression content that was available for people to consume and I know personally that I 
love watching age regression videos. I love watching people regress. I love watching people talk about regression. It's one of my favorite things and it brings me a lot of joy. But I noticed that there were not very many age regression content creators who are really putting themselves out there. And as someone who has somewhat confidence and has also been on YouTube for a few years prior to starting this channel, I kind of knew what I was doing and I knew what I was getting myself into. But I really just wanted to be able to put happy and inspiring regression content out there to help you guys regress, to help you guys see the side of my regression. And I still think there's a severe lack of age read content out there. So if any of you are age regressors and you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I wholeheartedly support you. Literally message me the link on my Instagram. I will subscribe to you right away. I will be your first subscriber. We need more age read content. How many times a week would you say that you regress? I think it definitely varies on what kind of headspace that I'm in because sometimes when my depression is kicking me and stuff I can't regress but then sometimes when my depression is kicking me I can only regress. I'd say on average it's a little bit each day even if it's for at least 20 minutes I'm usually regressed and doing some kind of regression activity at least once a day and that's something that keeps me super happy and inspired and I really love of regressing frequently. It's kind of like a refresh for my brain and it's great. If you needed to choose only one passy to use for the rest of your life, what passy would it be? You guys, this is a really hard question and it's not really fair because I have over 40 pacifiers and I will absolutely do like a pacifier collection video. That is a plan, but there are a couple more passies that I want to add to the collection before I get to that video. So I really don't don't know. I actually think if I had to choose one to use for the rest of my life and I couldn't have any other ones, I think I would probably choose this white one, but with the good tea, of course, not the gross baby pants tea. Because white goes with just about everything. So it would like match all of my regression the outfits and not just like one if I picked one of my other passies. Do you prefer action figures and dolls or animal toys like ponies and puppies? I definitely think that I prefer action figures and dolls. I have a lot of dolls. I have three animators dolls. I have seven American Girl dolls. Those are from my bio childhood though. Don't worry. Like those were all gifted to me. I only got one American Girl doll in my adult life and that was the Logan one because they came out with a boy and I got too excited. But then I also have some Barbies and I just love dolls. I love how you can dress them up and make them interact with each other. It's just super fun. I probably will have videos coming out soon of me playing with dollies and stuff because I really want to share that part of my regression with you. I feel like I don't share a lot of my like genuine like in the moment regression content like when I'm actually like really regressed. Like I'm regressed now but like I'm filming like a planned video you know. So I think having some like toy playing videos would be super fun so if you're interested in that let me know. Do you regress more or less when life is stressful? I feel like this is similar to the question before. It's not similar to the question but it's a similar answer and it really depends on my brain because sometimes when I am like hyper stressed out my brain immediately jumps into regression and I involuntary regress for the most part so like my brain will just go there and I just don't have a choice and I'm regressed and I'm small but then other times when I'm super stressed out my brain just won't get there and I can't regress and it sucks so I am not really sure what triggers the like difference for me but Sometimes I regress more and sometimes I regress less. It's kind of confusing. Why do you regress? I feel like there are quite a bit of reasons as to why I regress. First one being is that I have really always regressed as long as that I can remember without having a very obvious reason why. But I do have a lot of mental health issues that I deal with. I have trauma issues that I deal with and those are definitely reasons that play into my regression. I think another reason is is that I was so miserable throughout my childhood for like literally no reason but I was absolutely miserable and I blocked pretty much all the memories out of my brain up until I was like 10 years old. So like before I turned 10, before that, I don't remember my childhood. And that kind of sucks, but I wanted to like get it back. Then I started to involuntarily regress and it kind of feels like I'm getting that back. And again, I am primarily an involuntary regressor. So I don't pick and 
choose when I regress. It's just something that my brain does automatically. But if you are voluntary, that's totally okay. I would love to be voluntary for the most part. I would love to be able to switch it on and off. I just can't. So I regress due to mental health issues. I regress due to trauma. And I regress just because I really enjoy it and it's just something that my brain does. How many passies and passy clips do you have total? Oh my gosh, I forgot to count them before this video because I forgot that I had this question, but I think I have like 46, 47 pacifiers, and they are all adult pacifiers too, so I'm not worried about messing up my teeth or my jaw or anything like that. I love them, I have a bunch, I am a collector of adult pacifiers. And for Passy Clips, I think I have about 20 of them. I get them from a bunch of different places. Same with my Passies. Usually with my Passies, I, they're baby Passies and I modify them myself. And the clips I get from just like a bunch of different places. When I do my Passy Collection video, I will also show the collection of Passy Clips that I have. But yeah, I just have a lot because I like them. What is your favorite regression outfit? Again, this is such a hard question, but I have an answer for you. If you saw my last like unboxing video, a really good friend of mine sent me some onesies from Onesies Down Under, and the Rainy Days one in that package, I just, I love it so much. The Rainy Days onesie is such my aesthetic. It's so cute. It fits me perfectly. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I definitely think that onesie with my long overalls and then my chucks on, as well as a passy and clip. But that outfit makes me feel super tiny and regressed whenever I wear it. So I think that is my current favorite small outfit. What is your favorite small activity? I do so many things when I'm small, oh my gosh. I think one of my favorite things to do, which I actually haven't done in a while, so I will probably do that as soon as I'm done filming because it sounds really fun, is listen to my regression or like small themed playlist while I am working on my Adri journal. I'm thinking about doing a video about my Adri journal for this channel. I'm thinking about doing a lot of videos for this channel, but I would love to take you guys through and show you my Adri journal because I love it so much. And I think it would be a cool way to like show you guys how to make an Adri journal and stuff. So yeah, working in my Adri journal and listening to Katie music is plus in my book. And that is it. We are done with the questions. I wanted to thank you all so, 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 so much for participating in this Q&A and I'm sure that I will do another one soon if you guys have more questions from me. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more age regression related content from me. And you can also find the links to my vlog channel and my main channel in the description as well as all of my social media links if you want to follow me there. I love you guys a whole heck of a lot and I'll see you soon. Okay? Okay. Goodbye.